I'm Brad, and this is Liam, and we're on a journey to see if we can get all the way across the United States in 30 days, surviving off the kindness of strangers. That means all food, transportation, and shelter coming from people we've never met before, to show that even in this current state of division, there's still a lot of good in the world. Goodbyes are hard. One thing I've learned from hitchhiking is it's tough to always be leaving a relationship you've just built, especially when you like the person. Knowing you'll have to say goodbye soon adds some extra weight to every moment you get to spend together, and some extra emotion when the time comes. Fellas, it has been one awesome couple of days. It has, it, it has. really has. And if by any chance y'all run into anything you can't handle, I'm a phone call away, brother. Appreciate that. Thank you for everything. Yeah. You're welcome anytime, too. I feel like, in a way, you've almost been like, a, like an uncle to me. Like, I don't really have any, any family in my life, like extended family. Like You got a new uncle away. Yeah. No, I, I genuinely, I appreciate that. All right, bro. Thank y'all for the lunch today. Yeah. That's your money still. That's your money. Believe. Thank yourself. That's Damn, dude, I'm going to miss him. Yeah, he's awesome. Now, we're back on the road. On the road again. We got another 17 days left of the trip. Wait, so how much money do we have left now? $163. Plus 11. Today was the most exciting day for us to get back on the road, because we were trying to make it to the number one place that we wanted to visit on this trip. New Orleans. I don't know if this is a good spot, man. I, I think it might be worthwhile going back. I think the cars are just going too fast here. So we made the long walk back to the gas station and started asking everyone we could find for a ride. It took us about 45 minutes, but we ended up picking up a ride from a friendly couple with a camper van. John, Brad. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We literally just bought this, but uh, you guys can sit on those wheel wells. That's yeah, sick. Yeah. I love it. John and Don were a really cool couple who renovated vans for a living, and they just happened to be going right to New Orleans. We ended up joining them for a seafood dinner, and thanks to our casino winnings, we treated ourselves to the best meal we had so far on the trip, which proceeded to put me into a food coma while we made the rest of the drive into the heart of New Orleans. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Have a good one. Please. Talk to you later. As much as we wanted to crack a beer and listen to some live music, we had some work to do first. A really random question. Sure. We're hitchhiking across America right now. Every night of the trip, we have to stay on the local city. Oh, so do you have a couch we can stay on? Or? No. No. Oh, dude, I wish we did. We just moved. If you literally ask me at any other point, I'd say, f yes. God damn it. I know someone that is. Uh, generally down for this kind of stuff. <laughs> and that's when we were introduced to Joel. Hey. Joel? Yeah, nice to meet you. Brad, nice Brad. to meet you, dude. Pleasure. <laughs> Liam. Okay, so let me let, me let you know the deal real quick. Yeah, yeah. So I have a house that I rent. The house right next to me had some fire damage a few years ago and I have all the keys to it, so it's like a legal squat. So like I know the owner and he's like, you're welcome to use it. So it's not like a nice, living situation it's a couple cots you know that we just want home. a place to rest our head cool. yeah I'll start walking over and i'll set you guys up awesome. all right sounds good man this is our home sweet home hello hello good sir what up crew hey come on this way yeah yeah come on up there to the sketchy hey, <laughs> oh lord Dude, not, not a bad thing to see you. All right. So, yeah, the, the deal is I live next door. This house caught on fire. Come this way, I'll show you. This is the real gnarly. Oh, this is the gnarly gnarly. I punched oh. up there in there. That's sketchy. Don't do that. Don't go, don't go up there. I'll <laughs> um, I put this oh, up wow. against there, uh, but I guess it fell over from the wind. That was not and then back here, yeah, this is like some rad fire. Jesus. This is how it all, it, you'll get some good shots in the morning, I'm sure. If it's rad, come on, I, I, I figured. Good luck with these I don't know, I, you, know, you just kind of have to like whip them into shape. They want to flip up. I was able to master them. Like once you're in it, they don't seem to go nowhere. But like, if you get in there and one of the legs isn't all the way out, you're It's just like fair warning. Yeah. I, I like this little zone because if I'm alone in here, like in the morning time, I could just play this electric guitar. How many is already on? Come on. <laughs> we could go there with it. Yeah, you get a bus. Yeah. Well, bus. Well, uh, sitting here, we're in San 
San Jose. No, we're not. We're in Wood Lawn. Okay. I don't know where we are actually. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. I'm a boy here from Montreal. Yeah. Trying to rap, but you only stall. Bro. Yeah. He got the shoes, but he still don't ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bought him at the mall. Y'all came from Montreal no, no, in the south. No. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. Dick you Toronto. That's not true. I'm not sure what the f to do. Hey, I know hey, Vancouver, hey, this guy's BC Buds. You guys are both also just buds. Y'all are buds, y'all are buds hitchhiking. Trying to hang out with some lesbians diking. Yeah, I know what you're doing on the streets. Y'all out here trying to meet Pete's and Peter's and dudes named Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> we stayed with a Pete the other day. What? No, I knew it, bro. How's it going? Hey, I'll let you in on these two guys. Uh, they're, they're hitchhiking across right. the nation. What the f***? Brad. What y'all doing there for? That's some weird... No, it's just a good gig. It's a good thing, man. I don't know so why I'd be able to do that. Yo. <laughs> is this your butt? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? I hope you don't mind. This one's taken. No, no, I'm good. I, I don't want to in, in, intrude on your... Oh, no, you good, your, man. Y'all good. Hang out. What the f***? Thank you. Man. Thank you. Where y'all from, bro? <laughs> Waking up to the sound of live music at the foot of our military cots is an experience we won't soon forget. It felt like we were getting a real taste of the New Orleans culture with these guys. So much that we decided to stay an extra day. Is this your first time in New Orleans? Yeah. Welcome yeah. home. Thank you. Are you eating well? Uh, somewhat. <laughs> After doing a bunch of touristy things around the city, Joel invited us to tag along to a private event he was playing later that night. The only thing is, we had to sort of pretend that we were a part of the band. I think we are extremely underdressed for this event. Probably. What kind of event is this, do you know? Uh, are we just take the beads off. Take the beads off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, how y'all doing? Hello. Good, how are y'all? Doing wonderful. Yeah. Nice. Alright, so this is an engagement party, okay. and they don't know that y'all are here. Okay. Y'all are the surprise. Y'all are the good fellas, right? Yes, yeah. Awesome. Sometimes we're bad fellas. It depends on the night. I love you know that <laughs> So you want me to go get a feel for the house? Okay. Um, and just act like you're a photographer? Yeah, okay. So y'all are gonna, I figured it was stuff right in right here. Okay. And then they're gonna come here. Okay. And then I'll have somebody clear out that space. It's okay. gonna be, they're gonna be right there. Okay, I'll get it. Grab a drink, um, grab some food if you want it. I appreciate that. Amazing. Yeah, we appreciate it. Such a gracious yeah. host. Thank you. Yeah. Thank y'all so much for coming. Oh, thank you. I mean, she said we didn't have any food. How strong do you like it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. Dude, those little ham sandwiches. Dude, let's go have one. Let's have one. Unsure if we should even be at this party, we hopped into the action. With this banana shaker to share between the two of us, I'd say we were fitting in just fine. We sang, we danced, we mingled with the other guests, we paraded around the block, and we drank. Maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> trying to put this man on the <laughs> Double of me, what he normally does again. I wouldn't mind being one of them. We just tried our best not to stand out. Well, until it was time to stand out. How'd you go there? I asked the lady to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Liam! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> Liam! Later that night, we returned to the house and took the opportunity to get to know Moon a bit better. As we talked, he told us about how he's been going through some tough times recently. It turned out that his truck, which was both his transportation and his home, had been stolen, along with all of his instruments and his clothing, which was why he was living here. Would you say that you're 
more worried for the world, or do you think you have hope? I'm definitely worried. Worried for some mother. I know it's going to hell in a handbasket. That's why I hang around musicians. Yeah. I don't with everybody. Yeah. I learned that within 50 years of me on this earth. I've learned you can't with everybody. So it's cool to say hi and bye and keep it pushing, but like, Find yourself a little short and the stick all the time, man. That's why I That's why I hang with musicians, man. Yeah. Musicians got a fucking purpose. They want to make you happy. All day, listen to that. The chords, all day, everything you're playing right now, it means something to me. It's touching me in here. How can you not like How can you not like that? You gotta like that. Everything about that makes sense to me. Even though we needed to make some distance hitchhiking, we decided to stick around one more day, as Joel invited us to join him and his friends for some busking in the streets of New Orleans, and there's no way that we could pass up that opportunity. So, in the meantime, we went to a weekly brass band parade that was just all around insane. We took Joel's bike for a joyride. Dangerous. Always dangerous. And then spent our last money on dinner. Another day, another slice of pizza, Baby. and now we are down to two dollars. Give me some more money. <laughs> All right, we'll bring the kids. I'll meet you down there, bro. All right. All right, bud. What's going on, man, bro? Okay, so we set up on the corner, get together, call up whoever you know, and whoever's like good. I know Kevin's gonna come out there and say he's coming out there and he's gonna call Bam. Boys are rolling tonight, let's go! Behind the scenes of a New Orleans jazz band. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go! Alright, get on. Let's go! Hell yeah. Um, I hit this car, it's okay, because I know this guy. <laughs> this is the spot right here. Yeah, we used to play in this corner right here. Oh, we've got to get a chair, didn't we? They just get their friends to come together. Like, and then go out. Hey, you guys want to go play on the corner? Yeah. Uh, what, 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 what do you want to do? Just play something. Just play something. And ride it. And we're going to ride something. Bro, this crowd gathered here in like sub thirty seconds. It's crazy to see how much music is fully a part of the culture of New Orleans. Anywhere you go in the city, there's some sort of melody being created or soul being shared, much to the benefit of an open-hearted passerby. There's just this beautiful connected energy in the air. Since it was our last night in the city, we wanted to provide some support for the situation that Moon was in. So when we got back to the house, we asked him to chat. We totally appreciate just kind of everything that you've shared with us over the past couple days. And so we want to just give a little bit back to you. What is that, bro? Um, so this is $500. Man, not, stop not this. Much, but... <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> it kind of got me f***ed up, dude. No, again, you just treated us so nicely. And, and the way just everyone else kind of in the community talks about you. Just You're seeing good. you tonight, like how you just talked up everyone that was a part of that that show. Yeah. Yeah. You just supported and showed so much love to everyone there. Yeah. Because, man, that's the only way. You got to show it. The only way to get love, you got to show it, man. And I don't know one human being who don't want to be showed love, bro. I don't keep in touch with you guys, man. 100%. Bring it in. Oh, yeah, bring it in, brother. Bring it oh, in, man. Appreciate you, motherfuckers, man. I appreciate you all, bro. Man. The next morning, I really wanted to get to know Joel a bit more. Just like Wade, he had this easygoing and playful energy to him that I feel like I've been really struggling to find in myself. And I wanted to understand more what that was for him. Did, were you ever at a point where you were just like in, in your head too much about life? I'd probably do the opposite. I don't spend enough time in my head. Mm. I, like you're over here on the balance and I'm over here on the balance. Like, I'm way too, like I'm always in my head. You're very much in your head. I can feel that about you. And that can be a really powerful thing to be in your head, but it's also can be like heavy and, and yeah. like not light. And there's something so freeing about being really comfortable and like the trying stuff and, and not worrying about whether or not it's gonna land or whether it's smart or whether it's dumb or whether it's whatever. When you just like express without thinking, like it's such a good feeling. You know, my friend that I lost, not lost, but my friend that I had schizophrenia, that has schizophrenia is struggling with that now. That was one thing that I really love about him. It's like we would get together and just like talk about whatever and just no filter, no judgment, like just play. You spoke, spoke to a lot of like just what's missing in my life. Yeah, I feel it too, bro. Sometimes I get really, feel so alone sometimes. I'm like, God, I have all these acquaintances, I have all these like friends, but none of them are like that super close, you know? And it sucks right now because one of my closest friends, like, it's like not here, you know? It's like, his mind's in a little place. Yeah. And, uh, have someone that's like really knows you it's like so it feels so good and like it's hard you know i can't call on everybody and then like just know where i'm at and just i don't have to explain myself i don't have to like i don't have to fill them in on the whole story they know the whole story like one of my closest friends it's like i can't do that anymore it's like so heartbreaking just miss my buddy so much got good friends, go hold on to them, man. If they go crazy, go see them. And hold them. It sucks, dude. It sucks, man. It's one of my best buddies, you know. Hey, Eugene, you ready? Okay. Okay, cool. We're heading down there in a minute. Let's, uh, let's go eat some Waffle House. <laughs> Thank you for that. Yeah, buddy. I love you guys. It's so nice to meet you. Yeah. Night night, bro. Bad moon. Dude, this is sad leaving this place, eh? <laughs> Before we hit the road, Joel wanted to take us to meet one of his closest friends. This is Eugene, right? Yeah. Nice to meet you, brother. Dude, it's just music all the time with these guys, eh? <laughs> Eugene is one of Joel's closest friends and bandmates, and he's kind of a local legend playing shows in the streets and clubs all around New Orleans, and he also happens to be neurodivergent. What do you got over there? Oh, what big these are? Holy yeah. Yeah. Jesus! Oh, this thing oh, is big. Your your he slept in a, two, a shoe box for like all the way until he made two. Two years old. Two, two years old. Two years old. Two what? He was small. They said, you want to you hold your son? You want to uh, see your son? They got brother to me. He just fit in the palm of my hand. I'm like, oh, get, get him, get him. <laughs> <laughs> when that boy, when he came out of a little, little incubator or whatever, he let him see if he could crawl. And the people, I look, the people say, that's a go-getter. He was gone. <laughs> Crawling. I'm like, wow. I didn't leave anything moving like that. I used to be scared to be around him. <laughs> I'm sitting at the barrel, we eating babies. I said, Gerald, donut shop. I said, Gerald, donut shop. I got a sandwich. Yeah, I got some beef. 
I got everything. Yeah. Share it out with me. I got yeah. eggs. I got <laughs> mustard. I got ham. I got cheese. I got butter. I got grits. Mm. I got hamburger. Okay. And water. Yeah. 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 Wait, is he bringing the trumpet baby here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like this light or the next light are going to be your best options. These people are going to be going straight, and the Baton Rouge sign is right there, so. I think this is y'all's best bet for hitchhiking. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you, John. Who missed you, dude? My dog. It's dude, man. I don't know where, I don't know when, but... Brother. Appreciate you, my brother. Nice to meet you both. Good luck on your adventures. You're gonna get picked up by some weirdo, I hope, that's hilarious. <laughs> like a goofball. If you guys want to hear Joel's music, check out Handmade Moments on Spotify, or check the link in our description, and go send him some love from the Discover Connection community, because he deserves it. Love you guys. Awesome. Have fun. Next episode on Discover Connection. And I give you full permission to just start grabbing guns, pulling out. Let's shoot them all. Uh, right? Dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs>